Marvel Studios' own Kevin Feige talks a little bit about Marvel Studios, how far they've come, and the subject of award season gets brought up. He then talks a little bit more about the Oscars and how he believes that they have a genre bias against comic book movies. I mean, I think that much is clear, right? Marvel or DC, there's definitely a bias going on there that kind of uh, looks down upon and shuns these films. And all you have to do is just to look at the people that are involved with it. And it kind of just all becomes very apparent. Now, before somebody gets frantically angry and starts typing in the comments all the Oscars that comic book films have won, yes, there has been exceptions. Black Panther, right? There's one from Marvel Studios. There you go. There is an exception. But we are talking about the bigger, broader picture here. There is definitely something going on here. People have been pointing it out for a while. And I'll talk more about how this is even more valid in terms of more content. But specifically in this regard, we're going to talk about comic book films. So this came in a recent interview with The Hollywood Reporter, where he talks about how he believes that there's definitely a bias because the moment the Marvel logo shows up, it's already looked down upon. The hard work doesn't really get recognized because of it. And if you want proof of this, just look at every director that goes out there and says, oh, all these Marvel movies, bad, they're senseless, uh, not even a lot of effort. Ah, they're not crime thrillers, you know? They're not high caliber science fiction. They're not pictures, if you will. And they completely dismiss the work of a thousand people that worked on these films because Marvel, bad. And how many times have we talked about directors that are like, I hate the Marvel movies. They're all the same. Look, look at this film. It's all the same. It's all the same movie over and over. And then the interviewer's like, well, which one have you seen? And they're like, well, I've seen Spider-Man, Batman 89, and Superman. So you've seen two DC films from 30 plus years ago, and you're basing that all on the Avengers. And then they're like, well, I've seen one of them Avengers. The one with the, the League. My kid likes that one. He likes the colorful fella in there. Oh, and again, there's a lot more. He talks about how the audiences tend to love these films. And maybe sometimes they call out the Oscars for it. Again, visual effects and I think costumes and designs and all that is always very valid. And for people that are going to get real upset and say, wow, the Oscars are correct. They, they only show the best. Because I know there's a couple of you always in there and you got to bring up Joker, which sure, fine. Okay. Tell me why horror films and thrillers are snubbed every year. Just please explain that to me if you're going to support the Oscars and say that they're always correct because they always pick the best. Tell me how possibly you can rationalize that Tony Coletta got nothing for Hereditary. Nothing. Completely snubbed. If you can rationalize explaining that to me, then fine. I'll buy your argument that Marvel films and comic book films, besides Joker and The Dark Knight, that those... Those films don't belong in the Oscars. If you can make that argument and then also support that Hereditary should not have been up for anything, uh, I mean, you're just going to show clear bias again and you might as well be exactly who he's talking about. So I agree with him 100%. There's definitely a bias against it, but that's going to change soon. As these old people have to step away, people in their 40s are finally going to step into that position and be like, you know what's good? Films that general audiences might actually like that today's people don't like because they don't perceive them as pictures anymore.